1. Colosseum This colossal amphitheater, the biggest of its sort ever worked by the Roman Empire and the biggest of their developments to endure, stayed a model for sports officers straight up to current occasions. Worked by Vespasian in AD 72 and amplified by the expansion of a fourth story by his child, Titus, it was a setting for public displays and shows, even false ocean fights. A wooden floor that was 83 by 48 meters covered with two extra underground stories with burrows, rooms, cells, and sections that gave space to warriors, laborers, wild creatures, and capacity. 2. Florence Duomo Santa Maria del Fiore Viewed as perhaps the best house of prayer on the planet, the Duomo Santa Maria del Fiore, or the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, overwhelms the Florence horizon. The basilica was worked between the 13th and 15th hundreds of years, with the most renowned piece being the Uncommon Vault, finished by Filippo Brunelleschi in 1434. The church building's chime tower stands close adjacent to the basilica in Piazza del Duomo, canvassed in a similar designed marble common of Tuscan Romanesque engineering. Planned by Giotto, the campanile stands 82 meters tall, and you can climb the 414 stages up to a review stage with phenomenal perspectives on the city and the vault. 3. Leaning Tower of Pisa the Leaning Tower of Pisa, La Torre Pendente, is only one of numerous attractions in the city of Pisa, one whose world distinction comes not from the significant polish of its plan, but rather from an imperfection. Work started on the pinnacle during the 1100s, and the sinking, which prompted the lean, started when the pinnacle arrived at the third story inclining increasingly more throughout the long term, before rebuilding work during the 1990s, it was anticipated to overturn constantly 2000. Today, guests can scale the steps of the pinnacle for an astonishing perspective over the city. The Leaning Tower remains on the Piazza dei Miracoli. A setting it imparts to the excellent Romanesque Cathedral of Santa Maria a Santa and a round unsupported baptistry. Every one of these highlights exceptional works of archaic stone cutting. Cincter Cincter is a stunning beachfront area with steep slopes and sheer precipices disregarding the Mediterranean. The five beautiful towns of Monterosso al Mare, Vernazza, Cornelia, Manarola, and Rio Maggiore can be reached by a few methods, joined to one another by strolling ways, a railroad that burrows through the headlands to a rise at every town, or a grand tight street high on the slope above. Climbing between the towns is one of the most mainstream activities as it allows voyagers to appreciate the scene. The unassuming communities have kept a vibe of old-world fishing towns and offer a feeling of distance even notwithstanding present-day the travel industry. 5. Pompeii and Mount Vesuvius The as-yet-smoking fountain of Mount Vesuvius peers down on the remaining parts of the city it annihilated in AD 79. Yet. That equivalent emission additionally saved a considerable lot of the city's specialty treasures, frescoes, mosaics, and models that were encased in the magma as it cooled. A few centuries of unearthings have uncovered the remaining parts of houses, markets, showers, sanctuaries, theaters, roads, and human remaining parts. Guests can visit the site. Stroll along the old road scarred by the tracks of chariots, and see the designing utilized by Romans over 2,000 years prior. Close to Pompeii is the uncovered city of Herculaneum. Obliterated by a similar omission in AD 79, yet covered in magma and debris that hardened and froze the town similarly as it seemed to be. You can join visits to the two destinations in a single day. However a more drawn-out stay permits time to rise to the very edge of still dynamic Vesuvius.